Hi everybody, hope you're well. So this video was requested by Julia G. In this video, I'm going to be talking about selling gelded skillers. Now, if you saw my video that I did before on this, I was focusing on the ones that were one year and six months. Now, to be able to do that, you have to have a specific VIP perk to be able to geld a gelding at one year and six months. But if you don't have VIP, then you have to geld it at two years and six months. So I'm going to show you how to prepare a gelding um, of that age to sell because it's a little bit different. So we've got one here that we're going to geld. Now this is just a regular fold, but this will work if it's skiller as well. It's the same exact process. So one of the things we want to do, obviously, if we're selling this as a skiller, we want to make sure that we do the full games correctly. So if you want to know how to do full games properly, then have a look at the video that I did on that. But I am going to do the full games in this. I'm probably just not going to explain it as I go along. So we've got this horse and we've put it in an EC. But there's one very important thing. This EC is a plus 60 EC. And this is very important. If you're selling skillers, you want to be um, putting the foal into an EC with really good lessons. Now I know that this EC has 60 E lessons, but if it didn't, you know, that, that will impact on the skills that this foal will later gain. So what we'll start doing is we'll start doing full games and we want to make sure that we get all 60 skills from this. It's very important that we do that when we're preparing them, regardless of what age it is. So it doesn't matter if you've got the VIP perk and you're doing to one year six or if you're doing to two years and six months. So we want to make sure we're getting the most play out of this full as possible to make sure that we get all the skills that we can possibly get with it. Now you will see that I'll go down a little bit um, sometimes with it. Like I'll sort of overwork it a bit. Try not to do that. Now I'm doing it because I know I can get it back up easily enough again. But if you want to see how to do full games properly, do go and look at my video on that. So we've nearly finished the full games with this full now. We're almost there. So the thing is with gelding horses at two years to six months, it takes a little bit more resources. It's a little bit more time consuming. That's why it's actually been kind of nice to have it as a perk. And I find it a very useful and worthwhile perk for that reason. So We've now got it to one year and four. We're just going to make sure now we can see that all the full games have been gained because now it's just giving us energy and not adding any skills on. If we have a look at the details here, if you have Pegasus or VIP be able to do this, you can see that we got all the games correctly um, added on, so all 60 skills. So now what we're going to do is we want to age it once. Now, if, as I said, you were doing this at one year and six months, I with a VIP perk, I can castrate this horse at one year and six months, but we're not going to do that because this horse is going to be a little bit older. So all we're gonna do is groom and feed this horse right now until we get it to two years. So it's almost two years old now. There's something very important that happens at two years old. So when it hits two years old, it can now go on missions. So missions are very important because missions are adding skills to your horse. And obviously with a skiller, you want to get the most possible skills with it. And obviously if you're going to sell one, you want to make sure that you're giving it the most skills possible because then it's going to be more attractive to people who potentially might buy it. So at two years, what you need to do if you're going to yell this at two years and six months is you need to add a water of youth. This is exceptionally important. And if you see my Essentials of Skilling video, Water of Youth is integral to that. It's a huge, huge part of that. So we'll add the Water of Youth now. So now that that Water of Youth is on, the horse will age one month at a time rather than two, which means you can do twice as many lessons. And that means more skills. So what we do now, now that this horse is two years old, we've put the Y on, we want to do a mission with it. And we want to care for it. And then we want to age it. We're going to keep doing that. And keep giving it... Um, a mission slash lesson and we want to do that until it's two years and six months old and this is very important you need to make sure you don't miss any especially if you're selling this obviously you don't want to miss any if you're doing it yourself to skill but obviously if you're going to sell this you want to make sure that it's as good as it possibly can be so we're very close now to two years and six months so now we just want to age it one more time we want to do one more and then we can groom and feed it I'll just refresh the page so that apple goes away. So now this horse is two years and six months. So if you didn't have the VIP perk to be able to geld it, then you need to click information under the breeding tab and you click castrate. And then you click castrate. And then you can see that he's been castrated and he's now a gelding, which then gives him the gelding bonus. If I just refresh this, it'll show up. 
So we'll see that shortly. So now you can see that he held the gelding bonus. So the main things to bear in mind whenever you're preparing a gelding to sell at two years and six months is you need a word of youth. You need to make sure you have your 60 less than EC for, because from two years old, that horse can be, get lessons done. You want to try and make sure it's a 60 EC if, of all possible. And you need to make sure you don't miss any lessons. Put that Y on at two years old. And obviously make sure you do your full games properly. So that is basically how you do that. So now all you would have to then do is click sell and then you can put it up for sale whether you want to put it up in an auction or a direct or a reserved sale. So thank you to Julia J for requesting the video. I hope you had a lovely day.